Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to be doing my Holy Grail foundation routine. I know you guys have been really 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 curious about what I'm using on my face, what my highlighter is, what my blush is, what my foundation is, everything like that. And let me be honest with you guys. It is the same thing in almost every single video. I might switch up my foundation from the one that I'm going to show you guys today to like the NYX Total Drop foundation um, or that's pretty much it or the ColourPop one but like I have the same three foundations in rotation right now. Um, well more than three because I have to mix like two shades for each foundation but I'm pretty much just in the same rotation between, between the same three foundations so the same goes for like the concealer um things like that like pretty much I'm just kind of I found my groove with my foundation routine and I usually don't switch it up so if that is something that you're interested in then please keep on watching so the first thing I'm going to use is this Laura Mercier. This is a foundation primer and this is an oil-free foundation primer. It has a really good tacky sticky base. So um, I use this all over the skin kind of as a moisturizer even though I already moisturize my skin. But I apply this on my forehead, my nose, my chin, pretty much everywhere where foundation will be touching because usually I only apply like my pore minimizing primers into the cheek area because that's where I have the the most problematic areas but this foundation goes everywhere and it just has a really good tacky base it's gonna help my foundation to stick on um, I just recently got this Laura Mercier sent me a little PR box so thank you to Laura Mercier I have found a new favorite primer <laughs> so the next primer I'm usually in between three I go from the benefit professional this is the pearl one they have the regular one and then I might use the cover effects blurring primer usually one of those three this is the um, the benefit cosmetics pearl primer this is just gonna help minimize the pores make them not look as huge because they are and I just take about a about a dime size and just place it right into the cheek area so right about here a little bit in between and like on my chin but mainly the cheek area this is the big problematic area and I smooth it and I kind of like kind of like stretch my skin like <laughs> so that way I can really push it into the skin you can push or you can pat sometimes I, I, I alternate between the two and then I get got pores right in between the brows so I have to make sure that's minimized and then of course you know with my cool face tune app <laughs> um i do that as well if you guys want to know how i edit my pictures let me know so i can film that for you guys because i know you guys are interested someone a lot of people have been asking like what i use to edit my pictures and i might actually do a video like that so let me know i'm looking primed yes yes <laughs> Okay, you guys, so for foundation, I mix two foundations. Um, this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. This is Golden Toffee, and this is Spiced Almond. As you can see, one is way too warm, and one is way too light. So mixing the two gives me a really good combo. So I take one big squirt of Golden Toffee, and I take one and a half squirts of uh, Spiced Almond. So like that and then I'll take a brush just the end of a brush and mix the two if you have a like a what is it like a sculpting I don't know what it's called like a sculpting palette or something like that right now it's looking a little too warm for me so I'm gonna take a little bit more of um, what is this one spiced almond because I don't want it to be overly warm. So Spice Almond just kind of neutralizes it a little bit because it's a little bit more of a neutral foundation. And then I kind of have a good a good mix. So I'll just pop it onto my skin. And I always use my beauty blenders for foundation unless I'm using like a serum type foundation. Then I'll use a brush. But then I bust out my good old trusty beauty blender and just blend this out. So this foundation is very, very, very pretty. It's medium to full coverage. It does last all day. However, for me, to wear this on like my wedding day, I would have to powder before I apply my foundation. So that way it's not like super oily because I do get oily when I wear this foundation for a long period of time. So that's just me, but look at how flawless. Oh my gosh. 
Look at that, yes. It's so pretty. It helps to cover up everything. It's just such a pretty, pretty foundation. Okay, you guys, so for concealer, usually I'll go in with like my ColourPop concealer in dark 46, but I'm out of dark 46 and I'm running out of dark 42. So I also bought dark 40. <laughs> so I'm going to mix a little bit of the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I just apply this kind of as my base so that way it doesn't get overly warm. Or not overly warm and like too light because the next concealer I'm going to go in with is kind of light. And I don't want it to be too, too light. So I'm just going to use this, just a tiny bit of this, just to kind of brighten it up a little bit. Like so. And then go ahead and blend that all out with the same beauty blender. And I don't want to say I kind of work quick with this, but I do work semi-fast with this because the ColourPop concealer dries really fast and it dries down to a matte. So um, I like to kind of move with this so that way it doesn't settle on my skin. Okay, so now that I'm done blending, I'm going to use my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm going to place this all over where I concealed with the same sponge. Um, I went through a spurt where I would set with my um, with a brush, but now I'm just kind of back to the sponge, so I don't know. I just kind of just go through phases, I guess. And I am going to let this bake just a little bit. Like, not too, too, too long, but just a little bit. And then I do take a little bit. Like, I don't, like, get any excess powder or anything. But, like, after I place it on my face, I just take, like, a little bit and just go underneath the jaw. Just to kind of chisel me out a little bit. And I definitely don't let this down here sit for too long because I don't want that harsh line. So this is a JH05 brush and this is what I use to uh, like brush away my powder and stuff. So. So while I'm letting this bake a little bit, I'm going to take my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette, no surprise here, and I'm going to take this big old powder brush from the Pretty Bar and just kind of like bronze up the skin a little bit, get a little bit of warmth back into the skin. I kind of slightly go over that, uh, that sh like that powder that I applied down here so that way it doesn't look like too crisp. And then of course hit the large forehead and just brush all of that out and I do hit the sides of my chin next I take my Becca cosmetics uh, this is a multitasking perfecting powder and deep bronze it looks like this and it's a little bit deeper, so I just take the same brush and just kind of swirl it around and just kind of go like right into the hollows a little bit, just to kind of give a little bit, a little bit of definition. And just kind of warm up the skin a little. Then now I'm just gonna brush everything away.
So I do contour the nose. I take a Sigma E39 Buff and Blend brush. Uh, what is that? Okay. Um, and then I just contour the nose. It's completely optional. It's just something I've done since I started wearing makeup. And I do have a video on how I contour my nose. If you guys are interested in that, it is in my foundation routine playlist. So you could check that out. Okay, so my favorite blush is the Black Radiance Blush in Toasted Almond. Y'all already know this. It is the best blush on the market. Like, it is so good. I just love it. I pile it on with this Duo Fiber Brush from Coastal Scents. It's like a really stiff Duo Fiber Brush, but I absolutely love it for this blush. Oh, look at that. the right amount of flush. And then now I'm going to take my favorite highlighter at the moment. This is the um, Marc Jacobs Beauty uh, Omega Glaze All Over Highlighter in the shade Guilty. And I'm going to take a JH09. Oh, I just love this highlighter so much. I also like to like bring it down on my cheekbone so that way like when I'm face on or when I'm smiling or something like that kind of catches the light a little bit right above my forehead or my eyebrow. And then I just take my dual fiber brush and just go over it. Can't forget about the nose. I take this uh, double-ended brush. It's like a pencil brush, and I just take this on the nose. And then just a little bit on the brow bone. I'm gonna take a tiny bit on the brow bone. Some final step is applying face spray. I really like the NYX Dewy Finish Spray. I feel like it just makes my whole look come together. So I'm gonna spray some of this and then we will be done. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a really good holiday season and slay that party. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye.